Hey guys, MJ here, back again with another FIFA 21 video for you. Make sure you smash that like for me, subscribe if you are new, and turn that bell on as well so you don't miss a single video. But yeah, with that all being said, let's get into today's video. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be doing the Division Rivals Rewards. Um, I've got the rank 1 uh, this week. Last week was a different freaking problem altogether, because... My God, I did do the foot champs last week. I didn't do it this week, um, just because I, I had the watchdogs to edit and all these other things. So yeah, sorry about that. I didn't do that this week. Um, I didn't actually do the video <laughs> video of like foot champs the the week before either. But like, yeah, I got like a really really crappy player from the rewards. So I was like, nah. <laughs> I won't put the video up for that. Sorry guys, but yeah, it was just trash. Um, but yeah, they they messed you up as well. Like with the division rivals rewards, like if you competed in the foot champs, you didn't, you weren't able to get that um, rank one, which is kind of shitty. So um, that was kind of partly as well why I didn't like force myself to do it. But also like I just didn't have time <laughs> to do it. But yeah, anyway, let's get into the rewards. I really, really am tempted to just take the coins this time because I've got my eye on like uh, a Van de Beek one to watch or maybe saving up for a Martial uh, because I'll show you the squad anyway, maybe a little bit after. Um, but yeah, we we ended up getting a couple new players for the squad um, from the last video that I was showing you. We actually did manage to buy a couple of those, so I'll show you which ones we got afterwards. Um, but yeah, then we've got four Jumbo Premium Gold Packs we could get, two Rare Players Packs we could get, so that's already six packs there. Then they're going to give you two Mega Packs on top. So, plus obviously the Foot Champs points, but I mean, yeah, <laughs> we pretty much um, have our Foot Champs points anyway already. So I might do that this week, I might not. Uh, depending on time because I'm going to be getting into the watchdogs again uh, I'm going to try and well yeah get into that a little bit because of um, the Xbox Series X is coming out with obviously there's Assassin's Creed Valhalla there's um, just all kinds of stuff coming out pretty dang soon um, also there's like if you've got your hands on a PlayStation 5 that's coming pretty soon uh, I wasn't able to get my hands on one, um, so <laughs> yeah, you gotta be uh, getting in there pretty quick. But yeah, I've gone for the Xbox Series X this time around. Whether I'll get a PlayStation in the future, I hope so. Um, but yeah, I want to go for a PlayStation that has, you know, uh, a really good. You know how they done like um, the the Spider-Man PlayStations and the Batman PlayStations and. Um, the Uncharted PlayStation's like all the kind of themed ones I might wait for one of those to come out to get the PS5 because that looks pretty awesome if you've seen some of the artwork online as well for like custom ones it looks pretty awesome like so I hope they can actually bring one out that's like themed around the game and then I might go for it then because um, the Xbox is just a freaking little square thing anyway it's never gonna <laughs> they could probably customize it and it'll look all right, but um, nah, it's, it's just a little cube thing in it. So I'd, I'm I'm fine with that. Just get that first, get that one out of the way. I, I'm more on the Xbox anyway. I'm playing on the Xbox right now with this, so that's what I'm gonna go with first. But yeah, anyway, back to these rewards. I'm going off into like a little tangent there. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm making a video. I'm making it for YouTube. Let's open some packs, right? These are going to be untradeable anyway, but yeah, like as you can see, they're rank one division rivals rewards. So we'll get in. Oh, all the way over here. <laughs> all right, so here we all are. So you get thirty in that pack. You get. 30 in that one, 12 in that one, 12, 12, 12, that one, okay. 
Yes, uh, let's start from this end with the Jumbo Premium Gold Packs then guys. I hope you're keeping your fingers crossed for me man, cause like, I've got to get something. Look how many packs there are bro, like look at these. Eight, eight packs, I've got to get something man, they got to give me something. Like, I mean, I can't even sell, I can't even sell what I get as well, so it's got to be something that I can use for my team, it has to be something I can use, otherwise this is a little bit of a waste. I can use, uh, well I can't use him in my team, because like my team's more kind of prem, but I can use him if there's any kind of objectives or whatnot, um, or like I can put him in like a Spanish team, so I'm not too mad about that. Um, but obviously, yeah, we want something a little bit better than that, hopefully. Going forward, but we've got like an England T4, okay. Uh, can we swap a few of these players around and get some coins? No. 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 Okay. That's great. Salzburg, no, no, no. Yeah, Magnolia. Uh, Alright. <laughs> let's go to the next one guys oh my god please man give me something I'm sticking with the Dortmund logo as well like I don't know why like there was like some objective with Harland and uh, I think it's like Joe Felix um, uh, yeah because it's the Champions League one some uh, SPCs require a Champions League card as well so that, that could uh, come in useful maybe Painty for Lorente, yes. Oh man. Really? Okay. Didn't get no money off the back of those ones again. I must, I've got like so many untradeables now, I think, in my team. Rare player packs, then, I guess, or we go for the mega ones. Hmm. <laughs> I want, I want a player man, I want a rare, really rare player, I want to get someone good man, come on, please, I mean at this point it has to be like uh, a player that's like over 100k, something. Oh, it's this guy, oh it's, a, oh it's a team of the week, yo, and he walks out as well, take a bow my son, that's it, there we go, yo, I mean, it's untradeable, <laughs> I can't sell it. <laughs> but it's a team of the week, man. It's a team of the week in the you know in the pack, so that works. It is a rare players pack, isn't it? Maybe we might get something as well like else underneath. Let's see. Look at how look how many our duplicates man. Look at this! Oh, like half the freaking pack of duplicates. That's fair, isn't it? Oh, god damn it, yeah. Come on, man. Oh, I, I'll take him, though. Man. He can actually go either into uh, a German league squad, um, you know, if I want to use that for objectives or if I'm getting bored of my squad that I have now, or even better, an SBC. He, you know, I can put him into an SBC, an 85 rated player, he, he will come in handy for one of those big SBCs, you know. Hopefully we can um, we can start, you know, building up a few of these 85s anyway to put into some of these SBCs uh, for these big, big players, you know. And then we can put them in our first team um, thing. So let's start swapping a few of these out, seeing if we can actually get some coins for any of them there we go well he's actually quite fast i don't think want him wow okay yeah i already had him on trader wolf wow we've got 600 coins all right i still think it's not good enough like, <laughs> like I want something I can use like now in my team. Oh god! 
<laughs> Come on, man. Back to back workout, but I don't want him. <laughs> I don't want him. 67 pace, but uh, I don't want him. I don't want him. Uh, he can go into an SBC though, 87. He can go into an SBC easily. Oh, we got Ramsey's. Orja and Pearson. I mean, I'll take the walkout, that's nice, but goddamn. I want it to be a player that I knew it was going to be like, I knew I was going to actually get players in this, to be fair. I knew they'd give me players, but like not, probably not the ones that I'd want to use. So, I'll do Ribbery. Ribery. 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 Nope. Antonio. Nope. This guy. Nope. Martins. Nope. Oh, yeah. Junior. Nope. <laughs> Alright. God damn. 1,200. <laughs> And we've still got two mega packs left, guys. So we got two back to backs, uh, you know, in the walkout partner. But God, they were probably like two of the most crappiest walkouts you could get. <laughs> so for me, anyway, like, come on, man. Give me someone good that I can use in my team. Give me someone I'm going to actually use. That's probably it now, they ain't gonna give me no one else. They said no, nah, that's not oh well, it's going through again. I don't think it's gonna be a walker. Eight three. Boards, just boards. Man, up you pretty much get this guy. Every single FIFA like this guy goes through and it's like oh Bartra. See, and I already had him as well because he's all the way back here. Don't want this. See, it knew it knew that was a crap pack, man. So it gives me coins. All right, Tadic. If I can swap him, yeah. I already had him on tradable as well. But that just. Go. Um. See. Picking up. He's got a bit of pace. He might sell. Um, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, last pack, guys. Last one. Be good. Just be something that I can use now. Oh, Netherlands, centre back. Oh, oh, I think for that. God, I was like. Oh, I was like, come on, man. Is it who I think it is? Freaking trolling you, like, on that last pack, man. Oh. That would have been nice, man, to pull, like, a Van Dyke on the. On the end there, that would have been something. Oh, he would have gone into my team. He would have gone straight into my team. I'll tell you why as well, because I'll show you my team in a minute. But like, god damn. The one dude at the centre back is... I'm absolutely screaming at the guy every single match. Because he keeps... <laughs> he keeps like moving over to where the other centre back is. On the other side. And it's like, nah bro, what are you doing? Get back in your position. Right, so we got a shadow and a gloves that help the terriers. <laughs> uh, Norway, I don't that uh, off. Uh, let's see if we can swap this guy. Nope. All right. Well, that was that, guys. It was a bit of a I say a bit of a bust, but like we got two walkouts. I mean, you can't complain too much, can you? <laughs> two walkouts. Um, I mean, yeah, two, you know, pretty high cards. They are team of the week and a 
you know, it's an 87 guy in there. So anyway, uh, let's go down to the squad then. So as you will notice straight away, we got the Alex Tellez Champions League card. So we bought him in and then we bought in Bruno Fernandes who, yeah, absolutely, um, he's a beast in, in division rivals. He's a beast uh, offline. Um, he's a he's okay, uh, but you really see him like do his bits uh, in division rivals. I feel like and Bale, like I was complaining my ass off about Bale in the last video, guys, and I was like, oh, I might get Martial, but this guy has stepped up massively. Like i don't know like if it's where i gone into his stats and i and i saw like how many goals he scored for me and how many assists he got for me but like i literally like i've just started noticing more like how many goals he scores and stuff for me but like man he he's actually kind of beastie like he he, he does some bits for me i feel like it's because timo is just so op look how many goals timo scores man 393 he just he's an absolute boss man he just ah oh. i was playing this one guy smashing him on uh division rivals and the one guy was just saw how good timo was and he was like right i'm bringing my timo up. so he subbed him on i don't know if he had him on alone or whether he, he just would had him on the bench but i don't know why you'd have him on the bench but I think he had like some pretty OP players himself. Like I think he had like the Abamyangs and um, just like a lot of those higher rated um, strikers. I think he might have had Son. I'm not too sure. And a few, yeah, just a few like really high, uh, high up rated players. I mean, he had he was a pr pretty um, big squad, but I just was I don't know. He must have been shit or something because I was smashing him. <laughs> but um, yeah, he just thought, "Oh, I'm, 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 I've had enough of this. I'm bringing Timo on," and I still smashed him. <laughs> he made a little bit of a difference, I've got to say. I think he did score one goal with Timo. I'm not quite sure, but like, he, he did seem to get beyond my defense a little bit more with Timo because um, of that pace. But um, other than that, like, yeah. Um, and then we've obviously we've moved ZH back here. I don't think he's that good in that position to be honest um, Because of like the defending and stuff like he's not too great like that but When he kind of gets into that space up on this side he can run it with it a little bit and you know um, set it off to uh, Bruno or Timo or, or get it over to Bale uh, if he needs to so yeah he, he, you know he's all right <laughs> i'll say that now and then he'll do good for me in a week and i'll be praising him in the next video but <laughs> you know um i was so i'm not too sure about him as well in this position here in the middle um but because he's a higher rated than sizoko I've, I've chucked him in there but i don't know sizoko was quite nice in that position for me uh, and just kind of mopped up that position there uh, and then you got an album here who's actually really really good in division rivals now he you know he's somehow got that extra booster pace from somewhere and he seems to be getting into challenges a lot more for me and um, tackling people and tracking back and, and helping out and then moving forward and getting the old couple of goals I think as well you know um not he's not like the most prolific player on my team because like usually it's like these three guys let's have a look at Bruno actually Bruno has scored 40 goals in 41 appearances for me and 40 assists as well so he's getting those numbers you know um doing pretty well for me uh but yeah what I was talking about earlier Aki Let's talk about Aki, guys. <laughs> oh my god. When I initially bought him, he was doing bits for me in this freaking team, right? He was absolutely that centre-back that I'd been missing. He, he, you know, that 
really good partner for Gomez and yeah he was really doing amazing and then just over these last few days when I was like finishing up my division rivals he just kept moving over to where Gomez should be and then Gomez kept moving over to where he should be and then it was, it was like they was getting twisted and turned and the player weren't even doing nothing like special to me like it wasn't like the guy was just passing passing and and doing that themselves like uh doing doing that to me like they was doing that themselves like the ai the computer ai was doing that it wasn't like the player was good and he if if you get what i mean anyway like it wasn't like i was up against an amazing player that was turning my defenders inside out they was literally doing it themselves like for no reason whatsoever like aki was just found himself over right basically next next to freaking gomez it's not no fucking social distancing going on whatsoever he was just freaking next to the dude like almost freaking on top of him kissing him fucking i don't know what he wanted to do but he was like right freaking up his ass like <laughs> all right let's not go too far but like jesus like he was so like just far away from his position it was it was pissing me off and I was just screaming at the TV every time, Aki, Aki, you get like it was so annoying. Uh, so yeah, it's almost like yeah, I want you to get a freaking uh, you know team of the week right now, please God, get a team of the week soon, Aki, because they that needs to be sorted out. I hope they can up stats. I mean, I want to actually look at his stats right now as well. Because, my god, man. This defensive aware should be plus five. So, why ain't you in your position? You know what I mean? Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully he gets an upgrade soon. Because, um, I, I mean, I've tried Bailly there, I've tried um, Sanch. Uh, Davison Sanchez as well, but I've sold Davison Sanchez now because he just, oh, he's terrible. Um, so I'm really in a dilemma this year about my centre backs, and that's that's like the base of your team. You need to know like your good centre backs. Um, but there is games, obviously, when Aki does really well for me. He's in the right positions. He tackles really well, and he does right. But oh yeah, that's another thing. Actually, there's there's times in matches. Obviously you get this with FIFA, I don't know, like with the gameplay and stuff, but you know when you tackle someone like at least twice and you're like, I got it, I got I tackled him. Like this happens a lot with Aki. This has been happening too often with Aki. He's tackled him like two, maybe even three times at some stages, and it's like, I got it. I you know like you tackled him, you're like, I got the freaking ball man. And the computer just don't let you have it like that happens that's been happening a lot with Aki and that's what really scratching my head really thinking about this card now um, so I'm really just yeah I want a new center back basically guys <laughs> um, so that Van Dyke would have freaking come in handy I would have chucked him straight in there but no uh, we didn't get him um, De Gea, even though he's like 86, he's been doing absolute bits for me. Um, so I'm very happy with De Gea. Like, I don't need to upgrade him. I don't feel like I need to upgrade him anytime soon. Hopefully he gets like an inform. Maybe we can upgrade him like that. Um, but the actual player, De Gea, I'd, I'd have him. Maybe if we can get an Allison, maybe because I've noticed um, he's an actual... Um, you know decent keeper in the game uh edison i'm not quite sure i don't think he's that great of a keeper in the game i'm not i mean he's 88 rated obviously um he does okay but like coming up against certain people um you notice like who the good goalkeepers are i just in my opinion i just feel like the Haya and allison are the ones that are like the top keepers in the game this year um i've come up against loris uh, uh yeah, he's not too great. Um, I mean, he's all right, but yeah, there's not there's not a lot of 
it seems like they've messed up the centre backs and stuff this year. Yeah. Also, right back, we're probably gonna be looking at uh, Nelson Smedu, Smedu, or Smedu, Smed. Oh, I don't know how do you say his name. That guy from Barcelona that went to Wolves. Um, we're gonna stick him in there maybe at some point if we can. If we can get the ones to watch, I don't know. Um, that's gonna be pretty expensive, maybe. Um, but yeah, we really want another centre back. If Aki doesn't go up anytime soon, um, we might want another midfielder in there. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much. To be fair as well, like Telez, he's come in, he's done okay. But I feel like as well, he's going higher. Um, when you play him, he comes out more. Even though like I've got him on stay back while attacking, like, he comes out more than what Regulon does. So I don't know if I want to go back to Regulon or not. Because Regulon I got really used to and he's always seems you know, always seems to be in the right position. And if he's not in the right position, he recovers so fast and he'll run back and he'll get back for me uh, and tackle. Whereas uh Alex Tellers, uh he, he kind of moves up uh, and then he, he leaves the player in behind and then he sometimes can get back but he can't always get back whereas Regulon always seemed to get back for me um, but I don't know maybe that was just in the first couple of games because when I actually played with him I didn't have too many too many problems after that it was literally I think it was against Messi so you can understand I guess against Messi you're gonna have problems um, but I think he did quite well in that match he got back on Messi a couple of times and uh, and dug him dug the ball out from him and uh, yeah but other than that I'm quite happy with the team I know like there's probably people that haven't even got this team and like fucking you know, hell man you got Bale you got Bruno what are you fucking chatting about bro what the f <laughs> you got Gomez at the back he's 100k you got you know, he's this he's that like alright I'm sorry for you <laughs> I'll shut up <laughs> but yeah like you know that's my team anyway guys um, that was my Division Rivals Rewards, that was my video for today, hope you enjoyed it, smash the like if you did, subscribe if you are new, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.